Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Azana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Marathi satellite, Light One. His Highness hailed the close cooperation between the National Space Science Authority in Bahrain and the Emirates Space Agency that reflected the history historical bonds and close relations between the two countries. He added that this achievement is the latest in the series of achievements accomplished by Bahrain during the prosperous reign of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed in this regard the support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the distinguished efforts of the National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a congratulatory cable from the Minister of the Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Marathi satellite, Light One. The Minister affirmed that this is a new addition to the Kingdom's series of achievements, according to the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty the King, with the follow up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince. Sheikh Ali bin Isa hailed the role of the National Security advisor, commander of the Royal Guard and Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, Major General Zahana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and this major national achievement. He wished His Royal Highness health and happiness and Bahrain further progress under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Emirati satellite, Light One. His Highness noted that this feat is the latest in the series of achievements by Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He praised the close cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE and noted the role of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting this national achievement. The National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard and Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Marathi satellite, Light One. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the close cooperation between Bahrain and the UAE and affirmed that this is the latest in the series of achievements by Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in this regard and wished the Kingdom further security and prosperity. The Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi received the Representatives Council Speaker Fawzi Zainal. The President praised the Kingdom's comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty the King and His Majesty's efforts in further enhancing the deep-rooted bilateral ties. He also praised Kingdom's efforts in achieving security, safety, development and peace in the region and the world thanks to its policy of good neighborliness and non-intervention in internal affairs. He wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. For her part, the Speaker affirmed bilateral ties in all fields, especially in terms of parliamentary cooperation. The Council of Representatives Speaker Fawzi Zainal met with the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abul Ghid in Cairo. The Arab League Secretary General affirmed that Bahraini diplomacy, led by His Majesty the King, is an essential pillar of joint Arab action. He hailed His Majesty's keenness and efforts in developing Arab action and joint Arab interests and supporting the League's efforts in dealing with issues facing the Arab nation. For her part, Zainal affirmed that Bahrain, led by His Majesty the King, supports serving the Arab region, enhancing joint Arab action and coordinating stances towards various issues. She expressed appreciation to the efforts of the Arab League Secretary General in activating and enhancing joint Arab action institutions. 
A Bahraini Egyptian parliamentary discussion session was held in Cairo at the House of Representatives headquarters. The discussion session was held on the occasion of the visit of the Representatives Council Speaker Fawzia Zainal and her accompanying delegation to Egypt. The Speaker of the Egyptian House of Representatives, Dr. Hanafi Jabali, praised the keenness of His Majesty the King to support joint Arab work. He also commended the royal vision in developing Bahrain and promoting regional peace, stability and prosperity. The speaker lauded the pivotal role of Egypt in fostering peace and security in the region and the world. A memorandum of understanding in MOU was signed by Speaker of the Representatives Council Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal and Egypt's House of Representatives Speaker Dr. Hanafi Ali Jabali. The MOU signed at the Egyptian House of Representatives headquarters aims to boost parliamentary cooperation and fraternal ties between the two countries. Egyptian Senate Speaker Abdel Wahab Abdel Razak expressed his deep admiration for Bahrain's progress and development in the prosperous era and the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. He stressed that His Majesty's wise political approach has enhanced Bahrain's status on all levels. The Senate Speaker praised the depth of the bilateral relations and stressed his support for activating the role of the Parliament towards achieving the goals. Zainal hailed the bilateral relations and cooperation on the latest regional and international developments. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the 41 session of the Council of Arab Ministers of Social Affairs. Hamidan affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on supporting joint Arab action and broadly Arab countries in implementing social and development projects and programs in line with the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. He reviewed Bahrain's efforts and initiatives in implementing sustainable development goals and their reflection on social welfare programs, providing a decent living for citizens and periodically reviewing service packages and enhancing social security. The minister invited Arab countries to actively participate in the Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Award to encourage productive families which will hold its next session at the Arab level in 2022. Within the framework of the Royal Directives to provide 40,000 housing units and in implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Deputy King to distribute 2,000 housing units to citizens, the Ministry of Housing continues to distribute housing units to beneficiaries of new housing projects. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim Minya Gubal Hamar, stressed that the continuation of the distribution process in the new cities of Bahrain is added to the Kingdom's achievements in the housing field, noting that the Royal support to the social housing sector and the unlimited support Support by the government formed a great incentive to implement housing project plans, Bahrain's new cities, and housing complex projects. The ministry received beneficiaries to hand over the allocation certificates for the Khalifa City and East Sitra project and simultaneously handed over the keys to Salman City. A press conference on improving government services was held, which featured the Minister of Electricity and Water Authority, Wa'il Mbarak, and the CEO of the Information and E-Government Authority, Mohamed Al-Qaid, and the Assistant Undersecretary at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Nibras Mohamed Al-Mbarak, affirmed that the government, under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, is keen on improving government services by increasing their efficiency as per the royal vision. He added that the government is keen on receiving suggestions and complaints in order to better serve the citizens and residents. For his part, al Qaid said that a number of initiatives have been achieved on time and that a team will be formed to follow up on the services that have been newly introduced. In line with the directives of His Majesty the King to deal with the repercussions of the pandemic to maintain the effort of sustainable development and in support of the decisions of the Government Executive Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, and according to the recommendations of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB, issued a circular to all retail banks and funding companies to provide the option of postponing loan installments due for all individuals and companies for 
an additional six months ending on June 30, 2022 without fees for the postmortems or an increase in the amount of the installment or the interest rate or profits provided that the interest rates established by the banks on these loans are calculated during the postponement period. CBB Governor Rashid Maharaj said that this option comes with the aim of continuing to support various economic activities in light of the continuation of the exceptional global circumstances of the pandemic, noting that the circular was issued after consultation and coordination with the banking sector. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Asumi, chaired the Arab Parliament session in Amman. He praised His Majesty the King's royal vision in developing the field of science, knowledge and technology. He congratulated the launch of the first Bahraini satellite, which renders space science as one of the promising fields in the kingdom. He affirmed that this represents a new phase of achievements by the kingdom as it develops its fields of research, communication and information. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,197,788 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,171,969 had taken the second, and 778,772 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Minister of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 809 with 31 recoveries, 161 registered new cases and no deaths. 52 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 90 are contacts of active cases and 19 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.